quake. That came from the direction of Krat Central Station. Oh, this could be bad, pal. Really, really bad. Uh, hey, are you a treasure hunter too? Strange to me someone in my line of work. I know how this looks, but I'm not a thief or anything. <laughs> I am on a serious expedition. You wouldn't happen to know a, a treasure hunter named Alidoro, would you? I'm a big fan. I plan my expeditions to follow Alidoro's traces, but ugh, this lock has me at a dead end, and I so wanted to explore the hermit's cave. Oh, all I can do is keep plugging away. If you come back by, say hello. Maybe I'll get this place open. Life is short, and life in Krat is shorter. I reckon I should cherish what time I've got. All I can do is keep plugging away. You never heard of Alidoro? He's a treasure- And unlike a lot of the riffraff in Krat, he's not a thief. He's a pro who excavates antiquities methodically. And professionalism is important when you're talking about Ergo. Just mention Ergo and everyone cares about the history behind the ruins. That's why Alidoro has the reputation he does. The quality of his information and the condition of the antiquities are on another level. I know there are rumors about Alidoro lately, but I know jealousy when I hear it. The rumors? Well, for starters, they're nonsense. Alidoro is the last person you'd suspect of crimes like fraud and theft and assault. It's crazy. I've even seen a wanted poster of him. Those alchemists must be behind it. Those guys act like they own the ruins and they don't want treasure hunters to earn an honest living. I mean, come on. We're talking about the Alidoro who saved all those lives in the workshop tower rubble. So, no, I don't believe a word of it. Ugh, would you get a load of this? I grabbed it as a souvenir, but it's just malicious propaganda. You take it. Life is... All I can do is keep... My treasure? Well, this is what I've got so far. It's a cryptic vessel. A sort of 
cipher device, but I don't know how it works. I didn't want to throw it away. I think it's a clue to some stolen goods. I found it between the corpses of two thieves who died fighting over it. You know what they say, no honor among thieves. But I can't make heads or tails of it. If you want it, it's yours. Life is... All I can do is... was once human. Or maybe it wanted someone to remember it. Perhaps a god or an angel. Who knows? But the alchemists have tainted everything. The gold coin tree is a pathetic creature they created from the listeners. Like many of their creations, it's tragic, but useful. You can control Ergo with gold coin fruits. The sad tears of those who became trees. If they get the chance, the alchemists might force me to make such a tree for them. Or something even more tragic. Don't let the sacrifice of the alchemists' victims be in vain. With the fruit, they lend their strength to you. Collect gold coin fruits and let the Saintess statue inspire you to victory. You honor their sacrifice, their grief and tears. Petrification disease, puppet frenzy, and carcass monsters don't happen by chance. They're all related to Ergo. Ergo is the essence of life made from the petrification disease. It contains the memories and distilled lifespan of the victim. That's why puppets sometimes awaken their old selves or describe someone else's memories. Simon coveted Ergo's power and he noticed that the process of curing the petrification disease could also create enhanced humans. Krat became a city of monsters and petrification disease because of Simon's terrible experiments. The King of Puppets tried to stop Simon, but he didn't do well either. Now, our only hope is you. Save Krat from this nightmare. Whatever choice you make, request last time. Did you give Alidoro the gloves? Phew. Even the Union's advancement test didn't make me this nervous. All right. I'm ready. Tell me the truth. Did the gloves make Alidoro happy? Really? What 
a relief. I'm confident in my weapons, but it was my first time making gloves, so I was a little nervous. Okay, more than a little. Gloves seemed a logical gift because I know he lost a finger. I was there, after all. When the workshop tower collapsed, the Hound lost a finger saving me. We could have starved to death trapped under the rubble if it wasn't for the Hound's sacrifice back then. I, I don't want to think about it. And yet I can't forget it. I will never repay that sacrifice, even if I spend my whole life trying, but... I'm gonna start now. Thanks. I was too shy to give such a gift to him myself. Speaking of gifts, I got something for you. Take it with thanks. I know my way around a weapon. Master Vanini? Master Vanini's collection box? You are indeed full of surprises, sir. Patrons of prestige can always count on seeing a bit more than the average customer. I am talking about you, sir. Shall we pay a visit to the House of Vanini's private reserve? At the House of Vanini? House of Anini, even...
I always welcome friends. May I be of service? There you are. Now, just leave this to me. Done and done. You will find Venini always seeks to rise to the challenge at hand. I always welcome... <laughs> the Grand Covenant. You're not asking much, are you? <laughs> Very well. Geppetto himself created it, and I... God help me, I made it work. It's in every puppet, a sort of... conscience. And in theory, it should have prevented anything like the puppet frenzy ever happening. It's because we don't truly understand Ergo, at least that's my view. Sometimes Ergo-driven puppets gain what we call awakened egos. Individuality, more or less. Which is a dangerous thing if someone's not ready to handle it. Though that is rare. Or used to be. Hence, the Grand Covenant. Humanity's safety net. But it did not work. The puppet frenzy happened anyway. And I still don't know how. So, the King of Puppets, how did he get around the Covenant, I wonder? He used the Ergo Wavelengths, but what did he do to their consciences? However, it's a different story when a single puppet cracks the safety device of so many puppets. Does the Grand Covenant break when their ego awakens? Or did someone cause the frenzy after lifting the Grand Covenant? If it's the former, the King of Puppets is the... If it's the latter, the King of Puppets is a means to an end. I am but a simple, brilliant genius and a man about town. I do not pretend to be otherwise. That is why I'm asking you to solve this. Everything depends on what you do now and your choices. No matter what fate brings us, serving her is welcome to...
do it? Finally, the last hero weapon is in my hands. I knew you'd do it. I had a feeling you'd be the perfect bait. I got what I wanted thanks to you. The last hero weapon is finally in my hands. I knew where it was, but I didn't dare lay my hands on it. The swamp is too dangerous. Someday soon, you'll see. You have my thanks. And you've earned a nickname. Alidoro's Best Bait. See you at the hotel. Thank you for your heart. Let's go back to the hotel and... Here, child. This is my first chance to get a proper look at you. It's a shame my illness kept me from seeing such a handsome gentleman. Oh, oh to be young again. You are responsible for this miracle. You have no idea how much it means to me. I have to stay seated as I feel a little lightheaded, but I feel the vigor I thought I'd lost forever. Thank you. If Krat ever holds a proper ball again, I hope you'll ask me for a dance. have no idea so many thanks for keeping me company. I found the last treasure thanks to you. The Sabre. A precious artifact from overseas. It'll always remind me of the rascal who stole it and then fell into the nest. I, I tried to save him, but uh, I failed. Let the punishment fit rhyme, I say. <laughs> and in a twist of fate, you must become the weapon's true owner. A great weapon calls for a great warrior. Show me that you're worthy to wield it. Hmm. What's this? A poster singing my praises? Oh dear, your practical jokes go too far. A, a wanted poster? <laughs> right, yeah. Let me, let me explain. There is an unscrupulous reporter called Medoro, and he's the epitome of yellow journalism, and he only writes favorable articles if you bribe him. One time, I didn't give him a certain antique he wanted, and he slandered me, just like this. What has this world come to? Even noble explorers searching for true history get lambasted all to see. Perhaps I should be pleased that this scrap of paper is powerless, as there's no authority to pay the reward. You can keep it as a souvenir. A great weapon calls...
don't remember much beyond Rosa Isabel Street, do you? Ask me about areas you want to know about. I knew the Alchemists were up to something. Something more sinister than just a cure. I should have known. Never trust an Alchemist, I always say. But in desperate times, I broke my own rule. This is tragic news, especially for Antonia. Do what you can to keep her heart from breaking. Who knew such a huge monster lurked in the barren swamp? Perhaps the Grand Exhibition's wastewater twisted the monster somehow. I shudder to think of it. A concoction of all the swamp's creatures. It's another sign of how Krat is tearing itself apart. Who knows the science behind it? I'm just glad my precious son made it back in one piece. Krat Central Station. Yes, it's where you woke up. There used to be a workshop near the station. However, the puppets destroyed it when they attacked. Many of the puppets have moved on, but now, strange monster nearby, bye. Be careful if you go back. You're precious to me. People call them the Alchemists of the Isle. Their headquarters must be on an island across the sea, but it's not on any charts. I remember tales of an underground dock in Krat, where the Alchemists would embark. That's all I know. around a weapon. I know now what a great... Perhaps it's presumptuous for a puppet to call that feeling love. I am happy enough just to protect her as best I can. Thank you for saving her and for guiding me through this emotion. No matter what fate serving her, welcome to... No 
no matter what serving welcome to Stalker, please. No! Can it be? It can! Are you hurt anywhere? Ha! You never fail to surprise me, companion. Now, allow me to return the surprise. This little wonder creates a lead-acid battery in a flash. The Golden Ergo is the purest form of power we can use, and it's nearly perfect. We could power a city block with this. You see, the alchemists ordered transportation from me, powered by this. I'm not sure, but maybe it's still in their underground base. Just one problem with the base. I don't know exactly where it is. I don't know when exactly either. I had to just hand it over immediately after the launching ceremony. After all, I am the prince of the Krat social scene, and I surrendered to their mysticism. There! It's done. Now take it. Hmm. A secret alchemist's underground lair. That sounds like something Antonia might well have heard of. You'd better ask her about it. I always welcome friends. What happened to the exhibition? How frightful. It's no wonder you're trying to track down the alchemists. I'll tell you one thing. Many secrets are buried in the city of Krad. The same goes for this hotel. Beneath us, there is a passage connected to an underground base of the alchemists. It's where Ergo's vein was first discovered, long ago. Until the petrification disease the hotel worked hand-in-hand hand with the alchemists, but I didn't know they'd be so corrupt. 
everything changed when Simon became their leader. Oh, I thought the survivors of the exhibition would be different. But they're just as corrupt. The passageway passageways to the underground base are locked from their side. We can't get through unless they open them. And the underground base is the only way to embark for the Isle of Alchemist. If we find the right alchemists, we can get that we can get that door open. I heard that some of them occupy the collapsed tower of the train station. And the collapse makes me wonder whether they had something to do with the recent earthquake. Look into it, won't you? People have no thanks for keeping.